What's up, everyone? It's me, CN Skyima, and welcome to CN Figures. Figures in your house. And for this tour review, we're gonna look at the Star Wars Black Series action figure DJ. And I finally got this figure, but I just can't remember when it was out. But when the first time I saw it, I really like the jacket that he has inside. So you can see the figure inside his box with accessories that he comes. Top of the box says Star Wars Black Series. And we get a picture of the character and the name of the character right there in the bottom. There's nothing in this side, just the name of the character again. In the back side, there's really anything, just the name, um, just the name of the movie Star Wars, Black Series, including his name, and a picture of him, and the number 57. And this side is also nothing, just the number 57, and also the name. And there's nothing in the bottom side, or in the top side, so enough chatting. Let's take this guy out of his box. And here's DJ out of his box. And when I took him out, he had a hat on. I did not knew that. Maybe because when he was inside his box, I could not see the hat that he had on his head. But still, the figure is great. I really like the jacket. Because the jacket, they made it so well. They added a bunch of... Um, nice paint apps and a bunch of sculpting all around it, but he also looks kind of short, but whatever. I still like the figure, and I even like the accessories that he came with, but I don't know what part that he came out, because I have not seen the other Star Wars movies yet. Because the only Star Wars movies I have seen already is Star Wars Episode 1, Episode 2, Episode 3, Episode 4 and Episode 5. Those are the only ones I have seen. Oh, yeah, I also see Episode 6. But I have not seen um, 7 yet. But maybe one of these days I will go to Target. I'm going to buy all the movies of Star Wars and see what's going on. Because I think I'm missing a lot. Man, it's very so good. Alright, so now let's talk about his accessories. And and here are the accessories the figure comes with. And I'm going to talk about this one first because I really like how it looks. It kind of looks like a little bit of a lightsaber, but only here in the top looks just like a lightsaber. But I believe that they recycled this piece because this gun almost looked like the one that I reviewed before. I kind of forgot his name. It's the one that has the gray jacket. Yeah, they kind of like recycled this type of style, but I still love they added some little bit sculpting and some detail right here. It's very nice, and I really love they added this and some sculpting here, and there's some little bit black paint apps here, and also here, and also in the top. It's very good, and I really like it. Okay, and here's a small one, and the small one, well, it only has a little bit sculpting, but the... But now I see it, it looks like a glue gun, don't you think? Because right here in the top of the gun, right there, and it almost looked like a glue gun. But they did add some sculpting right there in the front, and also in the bottom, there's some black paint apps. And also in, and also some little bit sculpting here. But that's pretty much it for this gun. Alright, so now, let's get back to the figure. And here's DJ again. And I don't know what you're gonna say about this figure, but I do like it how it came out. Okay, so I'm gonna talk about his head sculpt first. And, well, his face sculpt, I don't know if it came out that good because he looks like he has like a sad looks. But you can see they added some hair sculpt right there in the top of his head. And also there's a detail written, I don't know what it says. And there's some sculpting in the top of his hat. And there are his ears sculpted good. And some little bit of hair showing. And there his beard including his mustache. And you can't really see his eyebrows. But you can see his eyes. And I think his color of the eyes are brown. 
and there's some little bit of wrinkles on his face. And I really love the added this gold color detail on the top of his jacket, and it's, it kind of feels soft. But the jacket they added a lot of sculpting all around it, and even the shoulder of the arms. And each one, and one hand has a glove and the other one doesn't. And this hand here, you can see they added some rings. I think one is gold and the other one is black. I love the added this detail on this hand. And there's barely anything in this hand. And inside his jacket, there's some little bit um, sculpting on his shirt. And I believe the color is gray. And also they added his belt, the brown light color, and some little bit silver sculpt. And I don't know why they added this. I can't tell that it's not for the gun, but I still like it. And there's some sculpting on his pants, but it's too dark that you cannot even see the color of his pants. But I do like the sculpting. And there's some little bit sculpting on his black boots. And I think that's pretty much it about this figure because he doesn't has not that much to talk about okay for his articulation he can look down and a lot up move his head side to side rotation you can open his arms as much bend it a little bit but no double jointed swivel on the, the piece of the arm and rotation on the wrist but I don't think so he has bibbit. Yeah, he has bibbit. And some torso articulation, but you can barely move it. But no waist articulation. You can kick. He only kicks a lot from the front, but not. A, yeah, he does kick a lot from the back. Double jointing it on the knees. And let's see, he has some articulation on the top of the boot. Nope, but only in the ankle. Now it's time for comparing size, but first let's see how tall this guy is. And he stands just exactly 6 inches tall hike. Here he is with my Overwatch figure from Hasbro, Lucio. And you can see that he's a little bit taller than Lucio here. And here he is with my Lord Said figure. And you can see that Lord Said is taller than DJ. And here he is with my other Black Series figure, Ray, and you can see that he's taller than Ray. And here he is with my Fairy Marvel Soled, Thanos. And there you have it, guys. And I know that this video was kind of short, but I do like the figure a lot. So this is all for today's review. So thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like. If you want to share it, go ahead, be my guest. Comment but remember to not leave any offensive comments or saying bad words. If you do that, your comment will be removed from this video. And subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of my videos like my toy hunts, my toy reviews, and my unboxing videos when I get packages from Amazon and Big Bad Toy Store. And please follow me on my social medias. Like my Facebook page, CM Figures, follow me on Twitter, and follow me on Instagram. And I'll catch you guys on the next video. Take care, be safe, keep on hunting, and keep on collecting. I'll see you next time. This is CN Skyima and DJ, and we are out and line.